All morning, we've been remembering Elizabeth Edwards, who died yesterday after a long battle with cancer. Joining us this morning from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, two close family friends who also visited the Edwards home this week, Christina Reynolds and Ellis Roberts. Good to have both of you with us this morning and our condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Ellis, I want to begin with you. You were actually in kindergarten, as I understand it, with Wade, of course, the Edwards son, who tragically died at the age of 16. Uh, yet you maintained a very close bond with both Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. Um, tell us, what was that like for you, and, and, and what did you notice about why it was so important for Elizabeth Edwards to stay close to her son's friends? It was extremely important. Uh, their house was the place that we all went to growing up. Uh, we hung out there. And there was a lot of interaction uh, with both John and Elizabeth. But Elizabeth was always there and loved to engage in conversation. And so when Wade passed, that important piece of guys just showing up at the house, walking through the unlocked door, and uh, just simply hanging out was a piece that she never wanted to let go of. And we didn't either. And so one great thing that, uh, that was established is that after Wade passed, every Thursday night there would be a pizza party over there with the guys and the girls that, that had hung out there before uh, just to be with John and Elizabeth. And that was something that everyone really cherished. And I know for me personally, when I went away to college, uh, every time I came back into town, that would be um, on the to-do list to go by there <laughs> and see her. And that relationship lasted um, all the way up, you know, through uh, yesterday. You paint such a, such a beautiful picture of this warm, welcoming household. Uh, Christina, there were, as I understand it, a fair amount of people in and out over the past few days there to provide some comfort, some support. Uh, what was the feeling like within the home this week as people were coming to, to say goodbye and to say thank you? I think um, it's it's sad for all of us because there there will there will never be another Elizabeth and and we all miss her, um, but she's been working for a long time to sort of prepare the children especially, but to help prepare all of us, and um, you know there's been there's been good spirits as people share memories of Elizabeth and there are a lot of memories of Elizabeth, um, and share stories and and she was. She was who she is uh, when you see her on television. When people have met her, um, she was a character. She was, she was smart and engaging and funny. And and uh, there are a lot of stories, and we've all been sharing those. And and we took our strength from her. And and so, uh, we've all been grateful to get to share that together. Christina mentioned the preparation that has been going on for some time, as we've known, uh, for for the three surviving children, Kate and Emma, Claire, and Jack. Ellis, um, how are they coping at this point, especially the two youngest? You know, I think that they're they're doing well given the circumstances. Uh, what's really amazing, having been at the house these past few days, is that the strength that whether it starts at Jack and Emma, Claire and goes you know, through Kate and John and, and her brother and sister who are there, uh, and all of us who are there, is that uh, all of our strength really, the foundation of it has come from Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And um, it's amazing to see somebody who is the one suffering and, uh, and, and who, who passes as the one who has been the foundation of all of uh, the strength and courage to kind of get help you know, people get through uh, these past couple of days. Christine. But that was kind of her nurturing, yeah, that was who Elizabeth was. I mean, she was, uh, of course, a second mother to all the guys growing up, um, but she had that kind of maternal nurturing instinct with everyone she came across with, and I, I think that's why people across the country are really feeling uh, this attachment with Elizabeth and, and such a great loss, because a lot of folks out there had this attachment with her. And, and that does appear to be what her legacy will be. Uh, Christina, anything else you'd like to add? I know you traveled extensively with her on the trail uh, on, during the campaigns, and, and her cancer was often a focus of what people would talk to her about. Um, that, that's true, and, and I remember talking to her about, uh, we, had, we had wonderful times and fun times on the bus, and, um, but, but after events, it was the only time I've ever seen her late, was that she would stay until she talked to every last person who wanted to talk to her. Um, and, and, uh, and I asked her once if that was hard, because so many people wanted to talk about their own, um, their own uh, touches with cancer uh, or family connections. And, and 
she said, how do I not do that? Um, you know, if I can provide strength for someone else, then, then I owe that to, to people who, who want to come talk to me and provide strength to me. Um, and that's sort of who Elizabeth was, and, and, and she, uh, she wanted to give that back to people. Christina Reynolds, Ellis Roberts, thank you for being with us this morning and for sharing your memories. Yes, thank you. Thank you.